So yeah, there's been a lot of questions of people saying, okay, how I, um, SAP talked about Fury. It's a design theme. It's consistency of the workflows. But obviously, the workflows have progressed in the browser. As um, Charlene explained, we went from new tiles with WebDen Pro and SAP GUI on the back end to the new Fury themes where we have actually optimized workflows and they've changed things. So what we found is in this latest version of SAP GUI in 7.5, they've actually adopted this. So I have here a um, SAP GUI running, and it is in the blue crystal theme. So if I log in, it looks like what you would kind of expect. A lot of people have been using this theme. They like the bigger buttons, the way things look there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to author a certified process inside this mode. And then we're going to play it back in the Fury mode to see the differences or actually see what magic I'm certify is providing for us. So I'm going to do this through Capture. So I'll just right click and say Capture. So um, what happens is Capture starts down in the lower right hand corner so I can start doing my job. I'll create a sales order. Oops, can't type today. So R. I really can't type today. 1710 10, 10, 0, 0. There we go. And uh, now I'll come to our next page. I'll put in my PO and my date. Got materials, order quantity. So, very simple things you're used to seeing. I cannot type today. This is not going to be a clean recording. But we'll live. <laughs> the good thing is it'll work. Okay, so I've done this. I'm going to click Save. Now, we'll notice I click the Save up in the toolbar. So, in this classic view in SAP GUI, the toolbar has the button, and then the status sign is on the bottom. So I'm going to activate a capture, and I'm saying I'm going to verify the sales order at the bottom of the page, and I'll capture this. So what I'm doing is asking Certify to go figure out what's in the status bar and create the steps for me. And then I'll come over here, and this time I'm going to type it right to begin with. And I'll go and interact with the save button on the top of the page. So here's my um, test case. I'm going to come over here. I'll end this. So what happens is I'll give it a name. And we'll take the actions and all the typos I have, and we'll put them in my test case. <laughs> So I may do a little extra cleanup here to get rid of my typos. But the idea is um, we've got um, SAP GUI working, and I've worked with it in the terms of all of the, um, the placement of the buttons in the information line. So I've got my steps here. I've got my OR, so my SIM 10, my 10, 0, 0, my inner key. So you can see here, it's recorded my stats, 1710, 10, 0, 0, enter. I've got my purchase order number, my date, which I entered incorrectly. I'm going to go in and fix that right here, 2018, right? Then I've got um, C1000. I put in my item number, and I hit the enter key. And then I want to fix my date. I'm just going to delete this step. Good hardening process. Like, loops, don't need that. Now, we can see oops, that I click the Save button. So this is what's kind of inter I've, um, interesting. I've got the Save button, and I want to um, point that out because the Save actually moved in the toolbar. 
And then I've got this verify property where I looked at the, the status bar and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that to a set parameter. And what was returned was the order number, right? So the order number, I'm gonna variableize. So I'm actually gonna say certify, go to the status bar, get the order number, put in a variable, and then I wanna use it over here. So this is kind of your simple variableizing or hardening of your test, whatever you wanna call it. I click okay and I'll save. So now I've got a certified process, uh, did a little editing to fix my typo, and I've got things variableized. So the idea is I should be able to take this and then I'm gonna play it back inside of this version. So I'm gonna say run. Now I'm gonna put a pause here because what happens is um, we run playback pretty fast and sometimes in a web app, the screen paints a little slow. So I'm gonna start playing back. So it's typed in all my data, hit the enter key. So I've paused to make sure your screen refreshes. It's kind of hard to see all that happening so quick, but you can see it all passed. And then I click the save button, I grab the status bar, and I complete the order. So now people ask, okay, what happens if I have test cases that are running in SAPGUI, and this could be the classic of the blue crystal mode, okay? Um, I have a working test case, but I'm gonna change to the new SAP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close SAPGUI. I'm gonna come over to my options here, and this is what Charlene talked about with the themes. Within my visual themes, I can see there's, you know, blue crystal, the signature theme, you know, the classic theme and that, but if I'm in Blue Crystal, there's a checkbox here because I accept SAP Fiori visual themes. So this will not turn on if you have, say, just a regular database in the back end. If you have an S4 HANA system, 1610, 1709, one of these more modern SAP systems, something magic will happen. So this, this is what's kind of interesting. If I relaunch this, we'll see I'm gonna start getting a new user experience. So the colors are different and the font is different. And when I log in, this actually looks different. Now, I've noticed my button bar is gone and the information line or the status bar on the bottom of the page is gray. So what this is, is within this classic SAP GUI, it is using the theme or the visual theme and the visual workflows that the Fiori web-based applications are. So if I go to a tiled application for sales order, I'll actually get that here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play back my certified test within this mode. So if I click run, um, I've still got my breakpoint and I've got it right at the save button. So in case my screen refreshes a bit fast for you, we'll pause there. So it enters the data, we hit the enter key, and I've paused. So at this point, this is the question. Will certify no to click the save button that's on the bottom of the page and that the information line has changed? So traditionally, if you're familiar with um, attributes and changing things and certify, you would say, wow, normally if my button moves or it changes, in this case, it's a very different button, um, it's not in the toolbar, think like a Windows toolbar, I would have to adjust my attribute string so it plays back. And then that information line doesn't look like a standard Windows information line. So I may have to change that. But what we've done is we, we've taught capture and we've taught certify how to deal with that. So when I click run, we auto detect that we're in fury mode and we translate those things for you automatically. So what happened is now my test case played back. So I recorded a test case and the previous look and feel of SAP GUI, um, realizing the button bars are different, the status bar is different, but I've played it back and successfully. So this means if I look here in my parameters, down over here, if I come to my store parameter, I can see I actually got the order number and I used it on this page. 
So what we've done is we've made capture and certify aware of what modes you're running your SAP GUI. Okay? So that means if you have existing tasks, even though the buttons are changing and moving, you can replay them in this mode. Okay? So to kind of um, do this a second time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the opposite. Um, to show that we've done this as a two-way integration. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a new recording with Capture. And it says, please wait. It's identifying the version. And I'm going to come here and we'll do slash new VA01, OR, 1710, 1000. Now you'll notice when I tab, it goes across the labels, which is something we're, we're very used to in SAP GUI. It actually doesn't do that in the web. So that's one of the small differences. Um, there is a little difference in the tabbing order. Okay, 03, 05, 2018. Type that date right the first time. Scroll down in my material, TG22, want to do one. Okay, I'll hit enter. We can see these decode, and then we'll notice the save button is now at the bottom of the page. Okay, I'll click save. It saves it, and then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say identify the information bar and create a verification for me. It'll process that and put it in my test. So it's completed. I'm happy with that, and so to so you don't have to watch me do so many typos. I'll go in and end capture now, and we'll see that information line working. So, great. I'll name this, and I'll get a process. So this is what's interesting. Um, Certify is very aware of SAP GUI and how things are laid out. So if I come in here to my steps, I can see I've hit the enter button. If I scroll down, I can see I've got my save button here. So the action is very consistent. I've clicked the save button. So we didn't have, I'm not going to change the attributes or anything to tell it's a different save button, even though, trust me, underneath the scenes, it's a very different save button. I'll come to my verify property. I'll go in and make this a parameter so it's easy enough to see. Give me my sales order. And variableize that. So ideally, I've recorded in this new Fury mode, um, which looks a lot like the leaves. Now, can I actually play this back in the classic mode? So if my developers have done the right thing, if I flip my stuff going back to the other mode, this will work. Okay. So come over here. I'm going to go to my options. I'm going to uncheck the accept Fury mode. So just to reiterate that, this only works if your back-end system is an S4 HANA system. So the code base, the new workflows, all the ABOP code, the database, is all the new versions. So this, if you have an ECC6 or, um, you know, system or something like that, 4.7, heaven forbid, those won't work. But if I come into um, a modern system, I see now I've gone back to my old UI. I log in. Now, if the developers have done all the right things, I can take this Fiori 3 test, and I can play it back, and it will work in this UI. So this is kind of cool. So I'll start this, and I'll just run, run to the end. Okay. So the nice thing is I've entered the data, and all the, all the information is there. Okay. So the order is saved. And if I come to the bottom of my process, my store parameter worked. So what we're finding with customers is there's a little bit of confusion now. People are saying, I'm on S4 HANA. Um, well, that's great. Um, you could be sweet on HANA. We used to call it that. Um, or you could actually be using new themes, the new, the new human workflows through the UI, the new business processes. That was that square that Charlene talked about, that they've simplified the UI and put things in the right order to make it simpler. And then there's that technology change. We're actually implementing the new user experience. So in this case, because my backend system is a 1610 system, 
I have the options to change to Fury mode from my SAP GUI and I get the new user experience. So this is actually kind of powerful because we think this will help a lot with training. Um, so when people say we're going Fury and we're working, it's a good thing to ask them, okay, when you say you're going Fury, what does that mean? How, how are you doing that? Are you using this new Accept Fury theme so that when I launch SAP GUI, it comes up in this new mode? Or are we actually going to the browser? So if I come into here, remember, because my backend system, I get this look and feel. I've got my sales order here. The, the idea is this looks a lot like that screenshot of IE. So remember Charlene showed you in the PowerPoint a picture in IE. So if I come over here to my login, this is the, this is the same system, but I'm connecting to it via the browser. So these are gonna be my tiles. So these are my Fury tiles. They, they call these apps versus just transactions. I'm gonna look for sales order because I'm lazy. And if I click create sales order app, what we'll see is this UI, this is not the old Wemkin Pro or the SAP web UI. This is actually the new Fury based UI. So we can see this field here look like these fields here when we're in the same mode. So obviously if we're doing SAP GUI, we're gonna use capture and we're gonna capture SAP GUI. If we're in the browser, we'll use the cross browser engine and we'll use our XF definitions to define these objects. Now, the only thing you're gonna notice that's different is when I type OR and I tab, it takes me directly to the input field where in the SAP GUI, if I come over here and I type OR, um, I will actually tab into the input fields also. So we do see a little difference there. But um, so it's worth kind of investing with your customers. 